Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace an outlet in your wall, an electrical outlet. Um, I have an outlet here that I'm going to replace. It's a different color and I want to switch all the outlets out to be this new white color here. So we're, I've got an outlet and I've got a new wall cover and I'm going to show you how to do it. If Dan can, you can too. For this project, we're gonna need to use a Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. We may need to be able to cut some of the wires and, and strip some of the wires. We need an outlet and wall cover. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before you get started changing out that outlet, remember to turn off the power to the outlet. Now, just to make sure, I'm going to turn it put a, an alarm clock in here and it doesn't turn on. I don't see any lights. So therefore I know the outlet has no power this time. Okay, so now I know that I'm safe and I can go ahead and start working on it. And first thing we're gonna do then is unscrew the wall outlets. And that comes right off. Okay, I have my new outlet here. Just wanted to show you what this is gonna look like. So we have the two screws here at the top. That's how it'll come off the wall. Then, um, over here on the side, we've got some screws here and, and one that's green. This green one is where we're going to connect the ground wire to this green one, okay? On this side, we're gonna connect two of the white wires. And you can see here on the back side, it says, white wires okay so our two white wires are going to go there and on this side this says hot wires or our black wires so we're going to put the two black ones on that side so two black ones on the gold side two white ones on the silver side and the ground wire which is bare has no uh, covering uh, that's going to go on our green wire here okay okay now i have two screws one here at the top and one here at the bottom that need to come undone to pull the outlet away from the wall. So we're gonna do that really quick. Okay, now I've got them out and I can just kind of pull gently out and away and kind of stretch some of these wires that are connected here a little bit. If I turn it to the side here, you can see that this is the bare wire. So that's my ground wire. Here's my two white wires. And if I turn it to the other side, here's my two black wires. Now you can just simply unscrew these and they're gonna go out so far and then they get a little bit stuck. Okay, the idea is so that you don't lose that screw because it's pretty important. This wire is wrapped around that screw and it's done pretty, done pretty well, so it's pretty tight. I'm gonna loosen them up and just to make things quick and easy, you could try and bend those open or you could come in here and if you wanted to just cut the wire to make it simple and then use your wire stripper and strip off some of this coating here uh, to give you another bare spots. But what I'm gonna do is, since I don't need this outlet anymore, I don't want it anymore, I don't care about it. I'm just gonna keep loosening up. So even though it gets a little tough, I'm gonna push a little harder and just keep going a little bit farther until the little screw just pops right off. Just like that. Okay, so the little screw comes out and you can see my black wire over here. I'm gonna keep pushing that one up to the top to remind myself that was the top one. And then I'm gonna do the same to the bottom one. Just keep unscrewing until it comes off. And there you go. And now it's really easy to put your screw, flathead screwdriver in there and just kind of turn it a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of space to be able to put that new screw in. Okay. All right, let's do the same to the, the other side. Okay, we got it. All right, and then I'm gonna undo the ground. Okay, that green came right off. 
and there's those two wires there. Okay, there's a nice little hook on here and it will just simply go around that screw and then we're gonna tighten it all down and try and squeeze that back in so it's nice and tight and you got a good solid connection and that you don't have any extra bare wire going past the outlet. Okay, we got both of them down in there. Now we're just going to tighten them both down good and tight. All right, good and tight. All right, now we're going to take the white one, the two white ones and put on this side. If you kind of pull on it a little bit, it helps kind of keep that snug. There's a little bit of resistance from the wall, it doesn't want to quite come out. So as you pull towards me, um, it keeps that nice and tight as you tighten it down. Now we're going to work on the black wire and we'll just, that black wire, hook it right around the, the screw there as well. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to just get that in there. This wire is really stiff and just doesn't want to go around it. So you just kind of play with it until it kind of snaps in and then make sure it's seated really well. There's a little metal plate between this plastic here. So you don't want it touching the blue. You want to make sure that your all your metal's touching the metal there. All right. Okay, there we go. Now, it's all connected. Okay, now it's time for the wall outlets. It comes with a screw already in, and this is where you can play with it here. You can put it up here, and this one's a little bit bigger, you can see, so I'm gonna cover that gap that I used to have here at the top. And you want this to be flush, okay? So you don't want it to be sticking out farther or down in. You want this pretty much to be flush. And that looks to be like it is. And there you go. Okay, now that the outlet is put back together, let's turn the power back on. I'm gonna plug this in and see. There we go. I have power to the outlets and it's all working. Now, I'm not an expert, so please be careful and uh, do this at your own risk. But now that Dan can, you can too.